Corey just made a comment to me that no amateurs could beat any pros. Yet I went to a college all-star game when they played the Green Bay Packers back in 1962, and the Packers lost to the college all-stars. They had been brought together by Otto Graham for six weeks, and then they beat the champions of the world. So I have seen it. Uh, during uh, the 20s and 30s, there was a guy named Walter Hagen that was the top of the world in the world of golf. There were great, great golfers. There's a movie out called Stroke of Genius about an amateur named Bobby Jones. An amateur did not make any money who won the Grand Slam of golf. So has it happened before? Yeah. Will it happen again? Yes. I believe Tiger Woods, in his, uh, in his senior year at Stanford, would have beaten half of the field one-on-one -on -one in golf. Would have beaten half of the pros. To say that Tiger Woods the year before couldn't beat the, the 190th best golfer is ridiculous. Tiger Woods went there the next year and said, hey, I'm new, and wiped everybody out. So... It has happened. You see college baseball teams during spring training beat professional teams, pro teams. The Yankees have lost to colleges. It's, it's documented. In fact, I'll show Corey in spring training. I don't know if they play as much as they used to, but uh, it has happened. Amateurs have beaten pros many times. Bobby Jones, the most famous amateur, he was a golfer who ever lived. I'm just saying brought to you by All Tough Industries.